In this video, we'll be learning how to extract all the tweets that have a certain hashtag or set of hashtags on Twitter. So for example, the upcoming Aquaman movie has a lot of popularity on Twitter right now because of some recent trailer information that just dropped. So let's say we want to find all the tweets that have hashtag Aquaman and have hashtag DC Comics in them. We'll go ahead and click enter here. And we see that we get all the tweets that have hashtag Aquaman and have hashtag DC Comics. So scrolling through these tweets, we see that we might want some other information on each tweet as well. For example, we might want the timestamp of the tweet. We might want information about the person that tweeted it, for example, their username, but also such as how many followers they have. We definitely want the text of the tweet. And we also want information on all the other hashtags that are contained in this tweet. You will need a valid Twitter account, the Python programming language installed on your computer. I'm using Python version 2.7. You can use Python version 3 with a few minor adjustments to your code. And optional but highly, highly recommended is the Anaconda package installer. This is something that's going to easily allow us to get a certain tool we need for this project. So I'll include some information in the description below for how you can install this. All right, so the first step in our process is going to be visiting this create an application Twitter website in order to generate a series of access codes, which basically tell Twitter, hey, I'm a valid Twitter user requesting this data. Please give it to me. So it's a pretty painless process to create this application. Let's just walk through it. The first is give this application a distinctive name. So I'm going to call it my tweet scraping application. Go ahead and enter a description here. So I'm going to say this is used to scrape tweets via hashtag. Okay, this website, you can just put a placeholder name. So I'm going to put HTTP colon slash slash placeholder.com. This field here is optional. Go ahead and read this Twitter developer agreement if you'd like to hit this check mark and create your Twitter application. So give it a second here and your application has been created. So that was pretty easy. Now you want to click on this keys and access tokens tab right here. And you want to make note of four different codes. So go ahead and copy them into a notepad file or put them somewhere safe. The first is this consumer key. The next is the consumer key secret right here. The next you have to go down here and click on create my access token under token actions. Once you click on that, give it a second, scroll back down and you'll see two new codes appear. One is called access token, which is right here. And the last is called access token secret right here. So copy all those down somewhere safe and try not to give them to anybody. Keep them as secret as possible. Um, because if someone has your access codes, then they can start making requests to Twitter on your behalf and you don't necessarily want that. All right, so our final step before getting right into the code is going to be downloading a Python library that we need that's gonna make our lives a lot, lot easier when we start doing the code. So that's why I said downloading this Anaconda package installer is a really good idea because it's gonna make downloading this library a lot easier. So go ahead and navigate into your Anaconda terminal here. Go into your working directory. For me, that's just C users Ritvik right here. And all you have to type is pip install TweetPy. TweetPy is that library I talked about, so it's basically an interface between Python and Twitter that has a lot of pre-built-in functions that we'll see that make our lives a lot easier. Click enter. It's going to go to the web and collect everything that we need for TweetPy. And that's it. It says successfully installed TweetPy 3.6.0. And that's literally all we have to do for this step. All right, without further ado, let's jump right into the code. And the code in this case could not be simpler thanks to the TweetPy library. Whereas in previous scraping videos, we had to jump through multiple functions and understand different kinds of components. Here, there's only one function that we have to worry about, and it's called search for hashtags. Now, search for hashtag takes in five arguments, the first four of which are very similar. They're simply the consumer key, the consumer secret, access token, and access token secret that we got from the Twitter application website. The last one is simply the hashtag phrase, which in our case is hashtag Aquaman and hashtag DC Comics. Now, the first thing that this search for hashtags function does is creates an authentication object called auth, which is created from our four different access codes. And it's simply going to be used to tell Twitter that we are a valid user requesting this data. Now, the next thing that this function does is creates an API object. API stands for Application Programming Interface. But the best way to think about it is basically a language that we need to talk to Twitter in in order to request our data. So that's why the TweetPy library is so, so useful and powerful, because it has all this language built in. We don't have to actually understand the language that Twitter requests data in, because TweetPy will just convert our request into that language for us, as long as we have passed in this authentication, telling it that we are 
authorized to request this data. The next thing we do is generate the name of the spreadsheet we'll be saving all our data to. It's basically just created using the hashtags we want strung together using underscores. And then the next thing we do is go ahead and open up that spreadsheet for writing, alias it with W. We can think of this as just the spreadsheet itself going forward. The next thing we do is write the header row. So each of the fields that we're going to be filling up the spreadsheet with, so in our case, that's going to be the timestamp of the tweet, the actual text of the tweet, the username of the person who posted this, um, all the other hashtags in the tweet, and how many followers this user has. We get into this for loop here, which says, for each tweet that I gather, go ahead and write that tweet into my spreadsheet. Now the true meat of this function happens in getting this list of tweets that we actually care about, and that happens right here. The only two things that this tweetpy.cursor function, which gets all those tweets, takes in, is first the API object that we created up there. So remember, this is a object which contains the language as well as the authentication that we need in order to talk to Twitter. The next is, of course, the hashtag phrase that we passed in. And here I add to filter out the retweets because I don't necessarily want every single retweet of a certain tweet. But if you do, you can just remove that. I want only tweets that are in the English language. You can change that or remove it if you want all tweets. And I put here tweet mode equals extended because sometimes the text of the tweet gets cut off and I wanted to avoid that. And I specified here I want only 100 tweets right now. You can always increase that if you want more, decrease it if you want less. Now for each tweet that I get back, I go ahead and just extract the relevant piece of information from it. So if I want the time it was created, I want uh, tweet.created app. If I want the whole text of the tweet, I just do tweet.fulltext and a couple of cleaning up operations right here. And similarly for every other field I want, it's just some basic operation on the tweet I got back. You can go ahead and read through that. Now let's go ahead and see this in action. So I'm going to go ahead and run this cell here. And now it's, it's just asking me for all the different um, codes that I extracted from the Twitter application website. So I'll go ahead and speed that bit up for you guys. Now it asks me the hashtag phrase. Of course, I want hashtag Aquaman and hashtag DC Comics. Note, you can do a lot of things here. You can change this and to an or if you want, if you just want to match one of them. Um, you can also do a bunch of other things. I'll include some documentation in the description below. Now go ahead and enter and it's done. Let's go ahead and see the results. Let's go ahead and open up our working directory. We see there's a new file here called Aquaman underscore DC Comics. The name of which, remember, was made using all the hashtags that we wanted, strung together using underscores. Let's go ahead and open this up. We can open it up in Excel. Now let's zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. We see all the data that we want is right here. So let me expand this so you can see it. We see the timestamp for each tweet. We see the tweet text. We see the username of the person who tweeted this. We see the list of all of the hashtags that are in this tweet. And we see the number of followers that this user has. And as we want it, we have exactly 100 tweets in our results. All right, so all the code that was used in this video is freely available at my GitHub. So you can feel free to go through that at your own pace. I'll go ahead and link that in the description for you guys. Now, if you learned something in this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on how to data science.